Hi everybody, this is Debbie, and today I'm going to show you this design. It's actually the very latest I've done. I've got a whole pile to the left of me, which I've done and haven't done tutor tutorials yet. Uh, today's what, I think, June 27th, 2015. But this one, before I get into it, and I don't have a name for it yet, but I just finished making this one. So while it's fresh in my mind, I want to get the tutorial done. It was inspired a bit by um, Centerpiece done by Christy at Chidaro Bling, or Chidaro underscore Bling, because of how she did her borders. I really like that. Um, it's vaguely familiar to me, but this particular bracelet inspired me. The only difference is the way she placed them. Um, let's see. You have the clip here, and mine are going in the opposite direction as hers. And I'll show you how to do that. It's no biggie. I think I did it accidentally and liked how it looked, so I just kept it that way. Before we get going, this design frustrated me <laughs> because let me show you why. Well, not as bad as my was it spring flowers, April showers, or April showers, spring flowers. I forget which way it goes. Where I took umpteen times um, the evolution of a design. These were kind of my basic first designs, and I like something about it, but it didn't seem to go together and let me show you just various trial and errors as I was trying to resolve things I didn't like about the design and you can see all these are nah not working <laughs> not working not working not working let me see I don't want to and then this one I did a whoops because I looped these the wrong way and it came apart. So, yes, designers have many failures before the right one comes out. So this was the one I had done somewhere in between all those other ones I just showed you that I dropped off to the side. And I like this one, but I didn't like the, still didn't like this part right here, these right here. So, ditch that one. <laughs> Enter this one. Um, I just I used two different bands here and here, and I also just loop them a little different or place them a little differently. And I wound up liking this. So, ta-da! This was the final design. So, yes, I was finally pleased with it. So let's get going. It is seven bars across, all parallel to each other, and I am doing the full wrap, although, and I'll show you, I actually measure my wrist with a tape measure, and it's like five and three quarters um, around. This is actually kind of a tight um, weave, so that's how it looks. So um, for those of you with larger wrists, you might have to do two and a half looms lengths if you have lengths if you have that many looms on hand, or a small extension. And I like to double double the bands to make give it a, a you know a thicker in between here so it doesn't look like wimpy and cheap, like it's cheap not like price wise but cheap as looks like it might fall apart. So yeah, this one's a little bit um. Came out a little bit short, but that's okay. It's gorgeous, I think. So let's get going. You will need three single chains for here, the center, and oh, both borders and center. So I am using the uh, metallic gold silicone bands. So just have those ready to use and set aside. 
Oh, I was going to do something. Ugh, never mind. Those are my A bands. The B are the frost blue right here. And the C are the yellow. And for B and C, I'm using all the LE frost yellow. I really like using the um, LE bands for these, but other bands work as, as well. Um, preferably anything but the opaque bands or just, you know, the thinner bands. Um, jelly or thicker usually work best for that. Okay, and then color D. Which one are you? Oh, it's this up here. <laughs> this up here. And I'm going to try using the, um, what is it, Egyptian baby pink. It's got the gold on the outside and the baby pink on the inside. They're the 300 count. So I'm going to try that for this. And then finally, color D. I used the Lagoon dual color, dual sided. You can see the white in here. And when it's finished, it was really messy, so there was a lot of doing this, you know, okay, to get all the bands. And that one's a little bit of out of place. I'll have to play with it off camera. But it did come out. They all came into place really easily. And here's the back side, which actually I think looks pretty good. And on this one, I kind of envisioned what the colors would look like using all pinks and browns and the, all the copper, but that's kind of a shade of brown. But I really liked how um, the brown here showed less. And I kind of wanted that on the other side. To me, there's a little too much brown here, but it's not too bad. But I think this side looks nice. And I didn't straighten up the browns on this one. So that's why it doesn't look as good as a, this one, which I took the time to straighten up the flutes. I really, 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 really love how this one looks so much. I like them both. I like both, but I'm more partial to the yellows and or the greens and blues. Okay, let's get going. The first thing we are going to do is take our B colored bands and not starting on the first two, but you're going to do this all the way up on both sides and well not oh never mind I don't have to worry about these breaking because the way you loom these back um, there's not too much tension on the LE bands but when you stretch the LE bands some of them have a tendency to break and you're going to do all the way up to here okay So I'll go off camera real quickly and do that and be right back. Now that these bands are placed and it doesn't they don't look like much, you just have to get them on there. The next thing we're going to do are take, is to take some of our border color bands and I'm going to put two closing bands there. Thank you, Christy. Um, I never knew what to call these, and then I heard you refer to them as closer bands. I've been doing this since the beginning because it's easier for me, but I never knew what to call them. So now you're just going to place the bottom six border bands. And a little something interesting about this design, it doesn't need a cap. I know. I'm thinking calling it captivating. <laughs> or decapitate. <laughs> That's not very nice. Okay. Now that those are placed, we will take our one of our single chains and I'm starting at this end. Um, Christy took hers off and started with this one but 
I'm playing a little different. So you're going to want them like this, not like this. So you're going to place the first set, the first band like this. And then as you work, just make sure you're opening it up like this. And don't accidentally open this part, this side up, because it'll be twisted. So just hold it. Grab this little piece and bring it up. Let's see if I can get a little closer in without blurring. See? Oh, they're looking like this, so you keep them that way. Just pull it apart and bring it up to the next. Pull it apart. Oops, wrong one. I was trying to look into my screen. My camera. <laughs> so look at what I was doing. <laughs> Not very coordinated for that. So you're going to do that all the way up on this side and then you're going to do it on this side. It's the exact same procedure so no need to uh, really show you how to do that because it's all the same. Okay, and then just put your third um, single chain to the side, and we'll use that later. All right, I am coming back from a brilliant move. A flaw that I've had, which isn't having any devastating results at this moment. All I have to do is all I had to do is pull off my bands and start over with this take but I didn't realize I had pressed the record button, but it wasn't actually recording. And so I turned it off and I'm, you know, grabbing all my stuff to go sit on the sofa and I look at the camera and the red light's flashing and I'm recording what I'm not doing, <laughs> what I don't need to record. The worst thing, time that ever happened, went home to Maine, to my Indian Point campground. I was allowed in because it had been privatized and was gated out. And I had the camera and I'm turning it on and filming all the different developments they did and turning it off and putting it up on the um, dash until we got to another area and started filming again, except that it was all flip-flop. When I was walking around, had it on my shoulder, I'm filming the ground as I'm ding, 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 walking around. And um, yeah, then I turn it off, you know, then it's on. So I throw it on top of my dashboard and I'm talking about what's going on, what we're looking at, pointing things out not filming yet it's recording my voice but no video of my campground oh such a problem anyways sorry for the detour conversation there i probably didn't even explain it well because i was trying to do it so fast but yeah basically i have a habit of not turning the camera on to record when it's recording and then turn it off when i'm done recording and then it starts recording so we're going to take the C-colored band, which is the bright yellow here, and I'm just using the same as the B colors right here. And I'm just doing it these first because this is how I wound up writing my instructions. So don't need to needlessly confuse myself, so I'm just doing these first, but they don't really have to be done first. So that you're going to do all the way up, oh, I left these on, up to the very last pins. And since that's so easy, I'm going to show you the next step, which are the decolored bands, which are the white um, glitter right here. And on the second set of bars, the second bar over, the second row or column, you are going to place these just like this. I'm trying to do it carefully so they don't flip over. But you're going to do them all the way. Right to there. 
Yeah, it's pushing in my stomach there. Okay, and then we're going to do that one, two, three, four, five, it's the sixth column of pins all the way up. Okay, so get all those placed while I do, and then oh, I had to fix that one, and then I'll be back. I'm sorry, but I forgot to tell you guys that the C placement bands, um, especially if you use the LE, there's a lot of stretch going on. So as you place them on, just give it a little tug. I'm going to try to remember to put a caption back in that last segment so that you're not hearing it for the, you know, learning about this little hint for the first time because it'll probably be real difficult to fix a broken band from these, these where these are placed. Okay, uh, this is a multi-stage design. I mean, first we, you know, place the A bands single chain three rows then we place more bands now we're going to turn this around and do some uh, looming okay we're going to start and you must start from the inner pin first if not you will end up like hold on a second where are you where is that one Give me a second here. Oh, okay. If, like, you see me go from this set this way to this way and then back, if you do that on this side, if you go from here to here, you'll end up like this. So on both sides, we're going to start with the inner pin first and loop that way and then back the other way. Very, very important, okay? So we're going to reach under, grab our B band, bring it over here, then reach inside and grab this. I know a lot of people have done this. Um, I've done something similar to this way back in my early designs, but it makes that this fun kind of rolly look. And as you've seen by my designs, I really like, <laughs> I really seem to like um, that stitch. Also, if you want, you, you, can, you don't even have to do this, but it just makes it kind of a little more even when you take it off instead of having to mess around with your bands. You can just take it off like that. Or you can wait and do that step last, whatever. Or you don't have to do it all. So always from the inside to the outer pin, then reach in here, grab this, and bring it here. Grab underneath the bands, or that B band that's horizontally placed, and then do this. And then on this side, it looks like this. Starting from the inner pin, this is what you'd call mirror imaging, for those of you who don't realize that, but you're doing the same thing, but as a mirror, it's backwards <laughs> or reverse. And of course, you're going to want to push these, well, not these, this, but you want to push the ones down on this side. So you have more room. Very simple stitch. These frost yellow are actually very stretchy. Some of the colors of LE bands are very stiff and I've had, you know, two or three break on me when I'm trying to uh, do a design. But these yellow ones are very, very stretchy. So I don't think I'm going to run into problems, but 
I'm not going to assure myself that because you know what happens when you think that way. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Alrighty, um, I finished doing all that, and I did take these off the, well, look at it like we were still in the process of, I took all these little, off of this, these, ba these pins, ah, and let the little slip knot thing go down there. Now, very, very important here. <laughs> back around <laughs> not because I think you guys are dumb or won't figure it out it's because this girl right here <gasps> when I was making this one um, I forgot to turn it around when I was placing these brown brown bands and I got a whole side done <laughs> before I realized whoops doing that backwards <laughs> Ooh. Silly Debbie. So next, you're going to take the final, yeah, we're going to take the final single chain and do the same thing as we did. Let me think here. You know what? Let's wait. Back up. I'm not doing that right now. I'm going to wait. Now we're going to place the E color slash position bands. And that's where the Lagoon Blue. I just love this. This color, these bands are so pretty. The shade of aqua and the white on the inside. I love it. So we're going to place those next. And I experimented with many, many different ways of band placement. And I finally came up with doing this. Starting the third pin in over that way. And then cross it with another band to make an X. And do that the same way, always starting with the inner pin going out and then doing this one. The reason being with this one being this one being under, when you get done, you will have this design where they're all like they're going all going to like this direction like this and going that way on that side um, it probably doesn't matter if, if you want the this the top band right here to be on top so it goes like this over on this side and like that on that side the important thing is to be consistent and place them the exact same way the whole time. I actually never tried it the other way to see if these top ones, if it would look better if the top ones went that way. But somehow I thought it looked nicer heading towards the center. I hope you understand that. <laughs> Oops. So we did this one first, in to out, then out to in. In to the outward pin and the outer pin towards the inner pin and then on this side we'll be starting third from the right so we'll start from the inner pin going to the outer pin and the outer pin going to the inner pin in to out out to in. Okay, so we're going to do that all the way up. Oops, yeah. And then I'll show you the rest of the band placements. Band, bands, placement, band placements. <laughs> um, 
and then we will finish it up. Okay. So I have the crisscrossed, um, which color? Mother of Pearl. That is the color all the way up. And now we are going to do the um, last steps before looming or looping them all back together. We're ready to go back to our A color border bands. And it took me a little bit to resolve um, this top top row of pins here, but I finally figured out what works and has it all hold together and it all holds together and this is what the finished Um, looks like so it makes sense so we're going to take one band and put it here and we are going to reach under and bring it like that so that connects connects this border um, single chain <coughs> to the um, top border here then we're going to do the same on this side. Straighten these pin these up a little bit. They're twisted. Okay. So you're just going to reach right in between here. Grab, grab this, and then just bring it back over. Then we are going to take a band from here to here, and from here to here, and then we do the same on the other side. Excuse the arm. This one here, and one here. Okay. Then the final band placement is going to be this right here, the final single chain. <coughs> so we are going to place it just as we did for the borders. I think I'm probably going to stay on camera because this won't take too long. Just got to make sure I don't twist it. Because you go like this, you can accidentally do it that way and you don't want to. So if you're confused, just let it loose so you can see how they lay naturally. And then just spread them over each pin on the as you go up. Oops. And if it pops off, just pop it back on and Kind of got it twisted a little bit there, so I don't want them twisted if at all possible. Because I found these, like on, I guess it was showing you before on this, the gold border doesn't show up always. Sometimes the pink underside or the inside kind of rolls out. So I suppose it has something to do with the placement, but it also has to do with the tension of these bands underneath, pulling against it, which you will understand better when I start looming. I mean, it's it really doesn't make a difference if it's like... This is you know not a solid color, but a color like that doesn't have definite um, dual colors. You know, once one side is one color and the other inside's another color, so it looks fine here. But as I said on this one, it's not completely consistent. So maybe shouldn't use those bands for that. 
the center. I'm sorry I'm off camera, but you know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get these last couple on. And I've already got it. It's already pushed up against my stomach, so I can't really make it go any further. Okay. So there you have it. And I will show you the first sequence. And it goes like this. Oh yeah, it goes like this. You're going to reach under and just loop out the two bottom border bands. They were the top, now they're the bottom. And then on this side, just don't want to cooperate. All right. So we are going to do these C position bands. First we're going to bring it down to its home pin. Then we're going to reach all the way under and grab its other half right here. Need to be a little maybe need to be a little closer. So I brought it from here to here, and now I reached inside and grabbed the other end of that band and over. And then you do it on this side, bring it to its home pin, and then go, re go past all the bands, because it will be the bottom band, and bring it straight up. Yeah, so we're doing a little bit of a lot of things here. A lot of different techniques being implemented in this design. Bring it down and then up. And if you want, you can do all one side, then all the other side because uh, the bands do not interact with each other. So if it's easier for you just to zip up one side instead of bouncing back and forth, you can also you know, go like this. Just finish one side and the other. It doesn't matter one bit. So again, you take it out, bring it to its home pin, reach under that, that band right there, that half of the band. It's way down at the bottom. And bring it forward. Bring it to its home pin reach for its bottom half and bring it forward, okay? I will be back to show you the next step. I'm watching TV with my daughter and she has to have it on pause till I finish a segment of my tutorial. So I'm bouncing back between her and you guys. Okay, I have all the C bands off the middle pins and looped out. I think I'm going to show you um, the next two steps, even though I'm not going to finish them all up. So I'll show you the two different things so I don't keep I'm making so many little segments. Um, now we're going to do these. Which ones are these? The E bands? No. Yeah. Yeah, the position slash color E. And we'll take the top one. It actually doesn't really matter because it just really doesn't, but just in case I'm getting myself confused. <sighs> Just follow the sequence <laughs> to be safe. Now because this one's kind of caught, you know, been stretched out by the C bands, it does 
make it a little sloppy. That's why I had to straighten out these bands. It's harder to tell on these, but there's a couple that I think, you know, that you almost don't see any mistakes, but the minute you take a picture of it to put on post on Instagram, you go, ooh, what sloppy looming. <laughs> so anyways, um, do this one and then this one, and just do that up both sides. And you can see that one twisted right there. So just grab the one that's on top first, which should be this one going in to out, and this one's out to in. And this is what it looks like on this side, so we'll start with this one on top. Oops, get me on camera here. <clears throat> And this one. Oh, so many pins on um, bands on this one, it's hard to find. There she is. <coughs> huh. Got something caught in my throat. Oh, it sounds like it. <coughs> Excuse me, it sounds like it do. <sighs> Oh, and I should have mentioned, um, <laughs> too late, but when you brought the second part of the C-band up, <laughs> to do it gently, just so you didn't cause it to snap, but hopefully, um, y'all have done brace enough bracelets to realize when to be cautious, so if I remember, I'll make a caption for you to read. Okay, so anyways, pretend blah, 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 I'm coming back and I've done this all the way up to the, all the way up to the top. Then you're going to bring, remember, all these are finished first, okay? So you're going to do all this all the way up to the last ones right here to the final pins. And then you're going to follow through. This should be on the bottom. Okay. And just take these, um, which ones are these? D. <laughs> and just bring them straight up. And if you can keep them from getting too twisted, I guess, that would be better. I will see how these this dual colored band looks once we're done. So then again, you're going to do it on this side. And remember, after all, after all of these are done, but I'm just showing you both steps right now. Instead of having to, instead of having two short segments, so do this, then do that. Okay. So first, do all the D bands, and then come back, and I mean the E colored bands or the E placement, and then do the D. Alrighty, I'll be back as usual. Alright, almost done. Um, I pulled most of this off because it, it does take a while to do. And no need to watch me do that. So now that all this is done, you're going to finish... Looping out the top border. And I'm sorry, I probably should have, you know, saved a little bit more so you could see what it looked like all done up, but um, you can see this little section here is done, and then finally these were looped up here. Trying to get the balance of how many edits and how long I'm on camera. And how much you need to see and not confuse you. Okay, so we're done with that. Grab me a clip. Hold on a second. Get this out. 
and then reach in here, grab these two bands. Oh, sorry, I got a clip in my mouth. Ah, oh, having trouble. Hold on, be patient with me, please. I'm having trouble grabbing just. Ah! Take my left hand. Take that out of my mouth so I don't confuse my brain. <laughs> This is getting embarrassing. Hold on, hold on. Keep only grabbing one. There we go. Jeez Louise. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, my dog's been doing it all night. He's just being such a pest. Like a little... Yeah, you, you're a pest. Okay, I can't even do this with my right hand side. I'm so used to doing it with my left. Oh, I'm being a bumblehead on, on YouTube. All right, let's try this again. Oh, success. Okay. So now you will watch me only take a little bit off. I can't stand it when you're on camera and everything starts going wrong. <laughs> it's not like you can kind of retake it because I've already come up to a certain point. And I hope I, you know, showed you enough so that I didn't confuse you. By doing, you know, what I did showed you two steps at one time. But anyhow, I really like, I'm not a yellow, goldy person colors, but I'm liking these colors together. I think it looks very, very pretty. So the last bit of advice is to, um, it's not as much on this design, but whenever I do these, this loop, you know, this stitch. I like to take, you can do, you know, your fingers. You can use a toothpick. You can use a the end of a paper clip. Something thin just to kind of pull those out so they're not sunken in wherever needed. So anyways, do that. Um, let me just kind of do this to straighten these out. But there you have it. The unnamed bracelet in three very different color schemes. Put you on that side and put my favorite in the middle. So there you have it. Um, pretty. Oh, it looks so nice on, on the camera screen. It's really strange though because this one turned out to be a little bit longer. Look at that, it's longer. That's strange. Let's see how it looks around my wrist. See, it's almost touching. Go figure. I don't know. But anyhow, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my Deb's Thing channel so that you can see more of my upcoming videos and check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. Thanks so very much for watching.